At Helitech Civil Construction, we pride ourselves on great designs. To do those great designs, we have to have the best geotechnical engineers. So today I have Alec, one of our geotechnical engineers. So Alec, what are we doing today? Well, Jason, today we're in the great state of Texas on a wind farm project where our certified rig operators, as you can see behind me, are installing vibratory stone columns through soft clays and loose sands up to 18 feet below grade at multiple turbine locations. What is so unique about this particular ground improvement project that we're doing? Well, this project site is several square miles, but the soil conditions are pretty consistent. There's about 10 foot of clay underlain with medium dense and loose sands. Also being so close to the Gulf of Mexico, we have extremely high water table, which makes any over excavation very problematic. So by installing vibratory stone column system, this allows to little to no over excavation required by the general contractor, thus saving the project time and money. On this particular project, what are the actual vibratory stone columns actually doing for these uh, big wind turbine bases? Well, Jason, the vibratory stone columns will be controlling the total and the differential settlements across the foundation width. There's large overturning moments that occur due to wind forces or seismic forces. So by controlling that differential settlement, we allow the wind turbines to perform as expected long term. What is so unique about wind turbine foundations versus large building foundations? Well, Jason, wind turbine foundations are typically 8 to 12 feet below grade. And sometimes the soil at that depth is not appropriate to support the foundation loads without a proper ground improvement support system. With so many deep foundation choices in the marketplace, why is ground improvement chosen over all the other deep foundation systems? Well, on wind farms in particular, the foundations are several feet below grade. Because of that, vibratory stone columns are much quicker and more cost effective from a schedule standpoint all the way from installing the stone columns mm. to digging and pouring the foundation system. Stone columns also allows for the foundation soils to be used to resist friction in lateral loads, gotcha. uh, whereas a deep foundation, a structural system, would have to be designed to resist those lateral loads and overturning moments. Because of that, the stone columns are usually a much more cost-effective approach than a deep foundation for a wind farm project. 